Welcome in to another edition of Where the 99 Lead. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host, as we talk about all things regarding the University of Pikeville. Where the 99 Lead, the name of the program, it came from the historic 99 steps that lead to the University of Pikeville campus, and more importantly, they lead from campus into the community, into the city, county, and into our world. Joined today by special guest, Howard Roberts, Chair of the Division of Business and Economics, Berlin Coleman, Distinguished Professor in Business at the University of Pikeville. Howard, welcome to Where the 99 Lead. Thank you, Andrew. It's always a pleasure to be here. Longtime part of the University of Pikeville uh, campus. Uh, you're an old regular. When we walk on the campus, we expect to see Howard Roberts there, and you've long been associated with the business program. For those that are just tuning in, and they don't know who Howard Roberts is, Let's talk about some background, where you go to school, where you grow up, and how you arrived at the University of Pikeville. Well, I have, uh, as you say, been on campus for a number of years. I am a native of Pikeville and graduated from Pikeville High School, went to Pikeville College and majored in accounting, and then went on to graduate school at Marshall University in Huntington, earned an MBA, uh, then went to work in the, in the corporate world, worked right. for in the energy sector and worked for in the chemical industry for a few years. Uh, returned to Pikeville and began my career at, at what was then Pikeville College Yes, and have uh, seen the institution grow and, and flourish in, in many years, expansion of programs. Uh, I've had a, a wonderful career and opportunity for uh, working with business programs at uh, University of Pikeville. So I began teaching uh, accounting courses and as you said, I'm currently chair of the uh, business program. I've gone back to school through the years and worked on other programs and degrees, and I'm completing my doctorate right now at the University of, of the Cumberlands in higher educational administration and business. Very good. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a good tenure at, at UPike. Of course, uh, in those days, after graduating Pikeville College, there wasn't an opportunity for an MBA. There is now for students graduating from the University of Pikeville with a business degree. We'll talk more about that, mm -hmm. one of the new programs we're very proud of at the University of Pikeville. But after uh, achieving your MBA, you went into the corporate world, into the business world. How has that helped you in the classroom once you left the business community and came back to education? I think it's, it's necessary to be effective in the classroom. You need to know what's going on in the business world. Sure. And to have that experience and those contacts, even after all these years, is still valuable because to be effective in a business program that's academic, you need to know the corporate world and the small business world, sure. you know, just little local entrepreneurs uh, who, who begin their own business. That's important to understand how business works and all the components of owning and operating a business are very important then to bring those uh, skills to the classroom and, and motivate and inspire students. Howard Roberts, Chair of the Division of Business at the University of Pikeville and uh, typically uh, academic business programs are large programs on a college or university campus. How does the University of Pikeville's business program compare? Well, clearly our business program is one of our largest and most popular programs on campus. We confer more degrees in business than any other academic program at the university. Therefore, we want to always look at how can we enhance our program? How can we improve the program? So we are refining the curriculum, making it more relevant to what's going on in the business world. Um, and so it, we don't just create these programs and then hope people will, will respond and enroll. There's clearly a, a process. The, uh, the large programs in business on most any campus are the result of being responsive to what is needed. Sure. And at the University of Pikeville, part of our mission statement is a commitment to our region. And we are committed to the region and, and to helping with the employment needs that, that are here. And much beyond just Pikeville and Pike County, sure. what is truly a regional perspective and how we can do that. Clearly any program we develop must be approved by our accrediting agency. So there are a number of steps that we would follow that would allow us to, to develop a quality program, but also that would be uh, approved and acknowledged and recognized as a legitimate program. What do you attribute 
the business program being the largest on campus? I think the, the one word that would answer that would be flexibility. Okay. A degree in business is very flexible for someone who's really not certain what they want to do in their future or if maybe they do know they want a career in something business related because a, a degree in business would allow someone to go to law school, sure. to go into government service, to uh, work in banking, real estate, um, small business developers, those people who aspire to develop their own business. Uh, we have many students who are anxious to, to begin a business. Sure. And so there are so many ways to use a degree in business that I think that's the number one thing is it's flexible. And also we have a very solid program with very qualified faculty in business who are committed to providing students with a, a great educational experience. Do we have an idea of the number of students on campus in the business program currently? We, our business students make up about a third of the enrollment at UPike. It's a large number. Yes, it is. And a lot of growth at the University of Pikeville in recent years. Since your arrival, uh, since your graduation from Pikeville College, then you return from the corporate world and go into uh, a faculty position. Now the chair of the business program at the University of Pikeville. What have been some of the most significant changes in the business program on the Hill? Well, clearly uh, expanding our programs to offer new programs in business, new opportunities such as a program in sport management, which we have uh, just begun. This fall we will have a master's degree in sport management and a, an undergraduate degree program in sport management. Very popular program, again very flexible. Many people think of a sport management program as being just working with an athletic team, sure. but it's much more than that. It's working with, uh, in NASCAR, it's, it's working with venues such as an Expo Center or a Civic Center. It's working with the YMCA. There are tremendous career opportunities. So that's clearly been a change or the things that we have uh, responded to. And uh, if I looked at any one real single change in, in the business, it would be our offering master's degree programs. Sure. Uh, at this point, there are two master's degrees offered at the University of Pikeville. Both of those programs are housed in business. Right. Of course, the MBA program, we want to talk about that. It's been very successful, the sport management program uh, that's coming and, uh, and some other changes coming as well. We want to talk about those, but first let's back up and before we talk about those, how does the university decide what new programs we're going to implement in the, the business department? We look at what students are interested in mm -hmm. and we also look at what we have the capability of offering and the how reasonable it is you know is it really reasonable to offer such a program so we start doing pretty much what a business would do is, is a market analysis and a feasibility study we look at the opportunities for employment that uh, a graduate in such a program would have and then we look at do we have the students that can populate such a program. Sure. So we go through a series of events that uh, are really sort of a self-assessment to determine the feasibility of the program and what we can offer. And then we work from there developing a curriculum and getting approval uh, until it's ultimately implemented. The first graduate program for UPIKE created two years ago, the Masters of Business Administration degree. When will the first class graduate? Well, we're very exciting, excited about that because it's, it's soon. In two weeks, May the 18th, our uh, first graduates in that program will, will graduate. And there will be 23 students who will complete that program this year. They began 21 months ago, and it's been an exciting uh, period of time for those students. And it's, it's really been good for our institution because it has raised the... Uh, the profile of the business program sure. to be offering graduate degrees. And so those, those 23 graduates have worked hard and, and they've been very diligent in their pursuit of that program and we're really excited for them as they embark on a new career. They began classes as a cohort yes. and they will graduate as a cohort, cohort, but they each take individual MBAs uh, into the world with them. What different types of life did the MBA students, now soon to be MBA graduates, 
what areas of life in the business community did they come from? Well, it was, it is varied and more so than we even anticipated. Right. Uh, we have students who are in that program who are in government services, who are in private industry, uh, banking, uh, real estate. I mean, it's, it's really every component in health care. It's, it's very interesting where those students have come from and, and the skills and experience they have brought uh, to the program. So it's varied. When they leave, they will go into every industry that uh, is out there in, in this region and, and will represent UPike and they're ready to, to really kick it up a, a notch, so to speak, as far as their career. You're tuned to Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville. We talk about all things regarding the University of Pikeville. Today we talk about the business program at the University of Pikeville and Howard Roberts, the chair of the business program. He is a Berlin Coleman Distinguished Professor in Business at the University of Pikeville. And uh, I know one of the favorite members of the business faculty, uh, if you talk to business students at the University of Pikeville, you've got to take Howard Roberts. At some point, you've got to have uh, Howard Roberts at some point, long favorite uh, on campus, now chair of the business program. And I know it's a program you're very proud of. I know the MBA program you're very proud of. Uh, it, it's creation two years ago. First graduates on the way. Uh, a new cohort has just started. And the MBA students were able to participate in a competition with students from the University of Kentucky, University of Louisville, and the Alltech All Innovation Competition last year. They competed very well uh, and showed very well says a lot about the quality of the MBA program at the University of Pikeville. Uh, if someone is interested in enrolling in the MBA program this fall, what do they need to do? Well, we would, would welcome uh, the opportunity to speak with them. Uh, we are accepting applications for the next cohort of uh, students who will enroll in the MBA program, and they will begin studies in August of this year. So we are currently accepting applications. If they are interested, they can clearly go to the UPike website and click on the link for graduate programs and for the MBA program. They can download an application and submit that, or they can call me. My name and contact information is, is on the website, or also they can contact Dr. David Smith. Either of us will be happy to, to speak to them. We uh, we've started a program in, in recent weeks that we call Have Lunch on Us, yes. and so we invite people to come to, to campus and, and look at uh, the, the view that we have from our campus on to downtown Pikeville. In the Cole Building on the Sycamore Street level, we have the City View Cafe, so if someone is interested, come up, have lunch with us, enjoy the view and the, the good food that is served on our campus, and we'll be glad to talk to you about the MBA program. Governor Paul Patton has called that a view of the Pikeville skyline. And it is. It is, indeed. It's a beautiful place to, uh, to enjoy uh, looking out over Pikeville, but it's also a great place to have lunch. And uh, How was the Have Business, Have Lunch on Us? Uh, how were those dates received? Because I know it was an invitation to talk about the MBA program. How was it received? It was well received. We had several people and prospective students who showed up for those two dates that we had. And what we're now doing is that we are holding informal sessions. So if someone wants to come up on a particular Wednesday or Thursday or whatever day of the week, just call us and we'll have lunch with you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, or if, if there are four or five people. We'll go to your workplace. If you have a business, um, where several people are interested, we'll bring lunch to you and meet with those uh, individuals. So we are very interested in networking with our business community and enhancing the skills that these employees need in the workplace. And so employers are looking uh, for highly trained people in business to help them really grow their business, Clearly, the bottom line is always important. How, sure. can, how can things be done profitably? And we help students develop those skills. And the MBA program is just one of many ways that, that we can help the business community. But truly, after a student has completed a graduate degree, they will think differently. Sure. They will work differently. Their skills are, are more... Uh, in tune to the needs of the business and, and they've mastered some real skills that would be crucial 
to uh, a you know guiding a successful business. You mentioned students that are currently prepared to graduate the MBA program coming from uh, our corporate community now. Mm -hmm. You would go and meet with a corporation, a CEO, a COO, a CFO, if they have employees maybe who have bachelor's degrees and they're considering having some of their employees go through the MBA program to complete that master's degree, what would that business gain from a, an employee that has achieved a master's degree as opposed to an employee who only has a bachelor's degree? Well, that, that employer would gain a better educated workforce. And that workforce, by investing in those employees or those employees investing in themselves, they are going to bring skills to that business that that business had not enjoyed before. Sure. And so those employees can help that business to launch new programs, to assess what they're currently doing and how that can be done more profitably. Um, altogether, it can be transformational to a business to have that type of educated employee who can really make contributions to the future of that business. Talking with Howard Roberts, the chair of the Division of Business and Economics at the University of Pikeville. Today we talk about the business program, the MBA program at the University of Pikeville, and now the new, newest uh, advanced degree, sport management. Mm -hmm. Sport management, I've talked with some of the folks in the athletics department, nearly half if not more than half of the student body at the University of Pikeville involved in athletics. I would imagine that was one reason that sport management was looked at to be added to the master's program. Well that truly was when we looked at uh, our profile and as you say we have a large number of student athletes on campus because we have so many varsity sports. Sure. We have students who are participating uh, in one or more of our athletic programs. And those students are often interested in business. So in, in looking at the opportunities that we had and what we could create for them, sport management was just a, a, a logical choice. And that program will allow students to still have a business degree. Sure with an emphasis or a specialty in sport management. So they will learn the skills that really would allow them to apply those to the sport and entertainment industry. They will study more specific things in business such as sport law. Right. Uh, and that would involve, for example, contracts more so than maybe a, a, another program would. They will also look at things uh, like marketing a sport or an athletic program and looking at uh, the globalization of the sport industry. That's a course that we're teaching this semester. You know, and we think about our business world and we do have to think of that in a, a global fashion sure. because that's clearly the, the business world we operate in. The coal and energy sector do. And yes. Sports must as well. A absolutely. Another master's program coming to the University of Pikeville I hear rumor of. Well, we are always looking for new programs and, and we're excited about our new program in healthcare management. Healthcare management is uh, a natural for you, Pike. With our medical school, with the expansion and growth at Pikeville Medical Center and, and other area health facilities, we, we know that we need to do something in healthcare management. And sure. so we're very excited about that. We've actually been uh, teaching some courses in healthcare management. There's a big interest in that. That, would, that program would appeal to those students who are traditional age college students at this point, but it would also appeal to someone who's working. For example, someone who's been involved in, uh, in a healthcare setting who would like to return to school and, and get a little more educational background to get perhaps another someone, degree. Yeah, perhaps someone with a business degree who's yes. working in the healthcare industry. Exactly. So that program is going to be very good for our institution and very good for our area. Uh, our area is truly the hub of, of providing health care. And so to develop a, a program in health care management will begin in the fall and will be a program that will be well received. The University of Pikeville has been going through a period of tremendous growth, tremendous growth, and opportunities for students expanding with sport management, with healthcare management, sport management, not just a master's program, but also an undergraduate program. 
How does that growth translate to UPike students in the business programs and the future of the economic base of the region? Well, it really does in a number of ways. When we expand our academic programs, that helps to recruit students to UPike because they have more options. A student you know, may not know what they want to study. They may be undecided. But many times students come to college with the uh, notion that they know what they want to study. They want to be an attorney. They want to be an accountant. They want to be a, a teacher. And after that first semester or, or two, that may change. Sure. Uh, either their decision or, or some other place that decision may have been based. In a, but if we have more programs that we're offering, that allows them choices. And so it helps our campus, it helps our community to provide options to, to students and to prospective students. Ultimately, it's sort of like your lead in with the, uh, the 99. They take people to campus, but it also leads back out to the community sure. and into the business world. And so those students can, when they leave the University of Pikeville, they have options to what they can do with their lives. And that's what we want to do. Our mission is committed to this region and to helping our youth of this region to create uh, skills that they can develop successful careers. And the, the University of Pikeville has grown tremendously and we are just gaining momentum. There are many other things that will uh, will change in the next few years that will transform the university to truly be a regional university. Absolutely. The Training Academy building on the lower campus, mm -hmm. you're a native of Pikeville. We've grown up seeing that building. I don't recall it as the academy, but it's the oldest educational building in Pike County, we understand from the late 1800s. The Training Academy building will be back in the hands of the University of Pikeville after an agreement with the city. And uh, what does that mean to the university to have that building back in an educational uh, usage? Well, we are uh, thrilled, no less than uh, anything I can say, to have that building back as part of our university. It, it is an interesting history. As you said, it's the oldest educational facility in the area. The uh, Presbyterian ministers came in, eight, in the early 18. Uh, 80s to look in this region for a place to begin a school. Sure. And uh, by the time a few years passed with their trips here and, and trying to negotiate uh, the opportunity to buy some land, they ultimately bought three acres in that part of town and for a little less than $1,700. How about that? And uh, that building was built and first used in 1889. Actually, only about half of that building is the original building. A few years later, because the building was, uh, well, the program was successful and the building needed to be enlarged, it was added on to. But uh, classes began there in the fall of 1889. And of course, it was used by the University of Pikeville for a number of years in uh, previous uses uh, and, and previous, previous versions of what is now the University of Pikeville. It began as Pikeville Collegiate Institute. Sure. And so it was a high school, ultimately became a junior college, four-year college, offered the first uh, baccalaureate degrees in, in 1950s, and as we know, have had lots of expansion since then. So with the acquisition of that building, now with the, the university, that will allow us to expand our programs a little more. We are pretty constrained as to uh, where we can grow and what we can do with our space. So if we have that space, we will be able to offer more educational opportunities. It gives us more classrooms. It allows us to expand some programs. It also allows us to do more with the, with the public for our community because one of the plans for that building is that we will be offering more community-based programs. And by that I mean skills that will allow the business community. Uh, you know, maybe an employer has employees who need some skills in a software program such as Excel. Sure. They could come to, to that building for half a day and develop some skills, maybe a half a day for a couple of weeks or over a period of months. We will offer programs uh, that will enhance the skills of our residents. 
their non-degree programs, although degree programs will be offered there as well, but it will allow us an opportunity to really help our community, and, and we want to do that. That's part of our mission as well, is to help our community. It's where the 99 lead. Sure. Those 99 steps that lead to campus. Uh, many have walked those steps uh, to campus and, and left a different person walking those steps back into the community and into the world. You're tuned to Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville. Our guest today, Howard Roberts, the Chair of Business and Economics at the University of Pikeville. And we talk about the community and, and educational opportunities being brought back to the community, businesses that need employees, some specialized training. Mm -hmm. We also think about the business community and the many leaders that we have in our business community that are alumni of the university, uh, successful, very successful alumni and other business leaders that are associated with the school. Talk about the value of their collective knowledge and what they can bring to further the student experience. Well, our, um, our graduates truly are everywhere. They are. All over the world. We had a, a young man graduated oh, maybe three, four years ago who decided he wanted to go to England to pursue a, a, a graduate degree, a master's degree. He had an interest in, in travel and has remained in, that, in England and is working. But that's just one example. Truly, our graduates are all over the world. In this area is what we're more familiar with because we see those people in our community sure. daily. But collectively, what they bring uh, are several things. One is in their workspace and in the workforce, they are representing New Pike. As a graduate, they are representing the, the quality of the program that we can offer and they are influencing other people. So they can, can help influence people to apply to the University of Pikeville and to seek a degree there. Um, they also serve in a capacity that gives us advice. Sure. Uh, in our business program, we have an advisory council, and that's how we, one of, one of the ways we stay in tune with the business community. What do we need to do to develop programs? What do we need to develop the skills for our business community? What new programs do we need, as we talked about earlier? We, un we understand that primarily by looking to our business community for guidance and advice. Uh, clearly, they are donors, and that's an important part of a private institution. Sure. Uh, so they play many roles in the success of the institution, and, and we enjoy that relationship with our graduates and, of course, specifically in my program in business. Yeah. And so we work together very much. We want to help them meet their needs, and, and we need them to partner with what we're doing at the University of Pike. Absolutely, as we do business in the world on a daily basis, we encounter UPike alumni from the business program, uh, some very successful people in, in our community, uh, in our region that have come through the UPike business program. Howard Roberts, Chairman of the Division of Business and Economics at the University of Pikeville. If someone would like more information on the undergraduate program, the MBA program at the University of Pikeville, or one of the new programs, who should they contact? Well, they can go to the website and, and find some information or feel free to call me. My number is 606-218-5019 and we'll be glad to help them. Thanks so much, been great having you Thank on. Thank you. We look forward to new growth in the business program and we invite you back to talk about that. Thank you, I'll be glad to do that. Howard Roberts, Chair of the Division of Business and Economics at the University of Pikeville. He is a Berlin Coleman Distinguished Professor in Business our guest on this edition of Where the 99 Lead. On behalf of Howard Roberts and the University of Pikeville, you've been tuned to Where the 99 Lead, a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville, where we talk all things regarding the University of Pikeville, the leading university of Central Appalachia.